The top story is breaking today. We start with the Supreme Court. Key ruling on presidential immunity this morning. Terry Moran is at the court. Good morning, Terry. Hey, good morning, George. It is the biggest case on presidential power in decades, and it is a crucial case for Donald Trump and the 2024 election. And in this case, the conservative majority of the court finds uh, that Donald Trump does have immunity for his official acts that he took uh, as president in his efforts to deal with the 2020 election, but is not immune from prosecution for unofficial acts. Now, what's the difference? Well, that's the fine print. And that will be the job, the court says, of the lower courts. They are sending this case back down to the lower courts uh, for fact-based uh, examination of how the special counsel's prosecution of Donald Trump for trying to overthrow the uh, 2020 election fits with this law. And there is a high bar to prosecution in this law. Chief Justice John Roberts, writing for the majority of the court, says that the president has presumptive immunity. That means the court must start with the presumption that the president is immune from prosecution and go from there. A high bar and no question, a delay of this case for months.